Start off with the drama. Um, okay, so first of all, I mean, you can tell. You can tell what's going on just by looking at live stream fail right now, which unfortunately has once again been absolutely filled to the brim. Uh, uh, filled to the wazoo, not brigaded, of course, that would never happen uh, with, uh, you know, clips of this uh, drama. Um, I believe, and I'm going to give you guys like the the uh, short and sweet of it for those of you who don't know. Originally, I believe like I show speed was, uh, was, was trending for doing what Greek God X, Dr. Disrespect, Ninja at a certain point, and many other white content creators have done. Make... Uh, uh, jokingly anti-Asian uh, uh, like accents and, and languages and all this other sh totally unacceptable. I will talk about the, the uh, acceptability metrics with respect to that in a little bit. Um, it's just like, a, it's not even a microaggression, I wouldn't say. It's a, it's a macroaggression. It's not a microaggression. It's just like straight up an aggression. When you see someone who's Asian and you immediately start popping off and say ching chong ding dong, like you're... That's unacceptable. That's like ridiculous. Um, but there is, of course, with every single thing on the planet, there are varying degrees of unacceptability and racism. Uh, and it's not like, uh, it's not the highest degree, but it's pretty close. But also at the same time, the reception of anti-Asian sentiment is oftentimes uh, super acceptable by the broader swaths of society, which I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's all right. Um, but, uh, you know, that is definitely something that most people, uh, uh, don't have a, uh, don't have a, a, an opinion on that is negative. Where is the, I show speed, uh, where's the video? I want to see the video before I see his uh, apology. I'm going to do the same thing I've said so many times over about speed. He's like what? 18, 17. That's not an excuse. That is an explanation for why he keeps finding himself in dumbass positions like this. I think he is, uh, I think he would do well to have some kind of, uh, you know, big bro uh, help him out throughout this process. And, uh, you know, at the very least, like, guide him through this. He's been 17 for two years. He's 18 next month. I don't know how old he is. Where's the video? Let me just show. Bro? Oh, yeah. He, he sees, uh, he sees uh, a, an Asian dude uh, wearing an Argentina. Why you got an Argentina, bro? No. Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa. No, no, Chinese. Konnichiwa, Argentina. Chinese, no Konnichiwa. Why you trying to fight? No, they score. Ah! He said Ohio Chinese. What the does that even mean? Huh? Why you got an Argentina, bro? English, no. Uh, Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa. No, no, Chinese. Chinese. Konnichiwa, Argentina. Chinese, no Konnichiwa. Why you trying to fight? Yeah, I mean, this is just like he's just being idiot like that's it he's being an idiot he's being mean he's being f you I, like i don't have an issue saying that this is 100 percent undoubtedly anti-asian like across the board is there's not a, a more clear cut more definitional uh response to that it's not like the worst thing you can do and a lot of it is being a lot of it is normalized but it is totally uh, something you qualify as racist. Ohio is good morning in Japanese. But of course, like, you're forgetting that I show speed. Not only is he young, but his audience is incredibly young. This is not an excuse, but it's to explain it to you a little bit. Especially considering that they they, they literally call him a monkey. Like, they, his audience is, is young and also uh, incredibly racist across the board. So... That's not exactly, uh, you know, new uh, for his audience at, at the very least. Like, they literally say horrifically hateful to him. Uh, we've known about this stuff for a very long time. Um, I mean, I talked about it before. He is basically like, uh, he is a, uh, a lol cow that has, uh, uh, you know, gotten profoundly uh, successful off of uh, doing that. Yeah, he was doing this too. He went up to an Indian hey, man. Where are you from? Huh? No English? He's Indian? Oh, uh. This is not the only time I've seen him do this. I've seen him do this before, too. I mean, he just hits the gamut. This kind of is what you do when you're, like, desperate to fill content and want to be funny, but you have no understanding of, like, being entertaining. You have no capacity to be entertaining for as long, as many hours as you can be. Um, and you just go with like the dumbest thing you can possibly do. People do this almost professionally. Uh, people like Steven Crowder do this almost professionally. 
Um, so yeah. How do people think it's funny? Bro, they're 12. That's why I was saying. That's why I was saying what I was saying. Not only is he young, but his audience is incredibly young too. So that's why they think it's funny. That's why he, when he screams, they think it's funny. The uh, clip going around where people are saying I'm being racist to an Asian guy. You know, and I just wanted to say some things, you know. I wasn't being racist to him. I promise you, you know. I seen him. I thought he was, uh, you know, when I see, uh, I, I thought he was Japanese. So I said, I say Konnichiwa. I watch a lot of anime. I said uh, Konnichiwa when I thought he was Chinese, you know. I tried to say a nickname that they call me in Chinese. I literally was just talking to a Chinese person earlier today at 433. And they said they love me. And I love Chinese people. So I try to say Zhong Kong, like Chong Kong. Like, it's, just, it's a nickname that they call me in uh, China. I promise you, you know. And, and, if, and if it came off as racist, I promise you, I did not mean it that way. You know, I got a drilling pushing. I'm making content, live streaming. I'm at the World Cup. Watch Ronaldo play, drilling, pushing. I seen him with a, a Argentina shirt. You know, I just wanted to say what's up to him. You know, I, you know, I love other races. You know, I, I really did not come off as I, I didn't really mean to come off as racist. You know, I, you know, I try to speak Portuguese all the time. I try to speak Arabic. You know, you know, but I don't never mean it in a racist way, and I don't, you know, I don't know why you guys think I meant that in a racist. Way. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe people thought that. <laughs> it's on you guys. That you <laughs> I mean, his apology is bullshit. Like, he, 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 you know, it's bullshit. His apology is simple. It has to be funnier than it is offensive. Yes! Ah, oh, spoiler alert number two. Someone remembers the rules. If you're gonna do accents, it has to be funny or very good, okay? If it's not very good and it's not very funny, then... All of a sudden, you've hit the racism territory. It's a very tricky thing. It's basically the same concept of humor. Humor dances on lines. And you decide what's funny? Yes, I do. Because it's my broadcast. So ding, ding, ding. You got it. I do actually, as a matter of fact, decide. Well, not me in particular, not me alone, but like... There is a overall vibe that most people kind of get because it's a subjective concept. But a lot of you want immediate, like, you know, ground rules. I need to know ground rules. One, either because of uh, particular neurodivergencies or because you are uh, inappropriately trying to craft an argument where you can grab someone on the back, at, back foot and just, like, use it as an opportunity to, uh, I don't know, craftily deliver way more racist jokes in the future. Um, why ask for permission? Just be who you want to be if you're that desperate to be a, a, a goober okay he knows it's wrong that's why he's doing this where he's like oh i just was saying jung kong or whatever he's just i saying. promise you i did not mean it that way i promise you like okay sure you know i got drilling pushing anyway he knows his bullshit he knows and and also like i mean he scammed his audience like that, that's another thing that he knows is wrong you know what i mean it's not often this is not done often out of a place of like pure hatred though it's done because you're desperate to just like try to make people laugh. So I guess like that was the original point of contention. I, I didn't even catch that. Um, I hope my thoughts on that are clear. And then it just like became this back and forth. Uh, I guess Destiny had like a, a another classic Destiny moment where he had to be like an edgy, sweaty gamer, okay? And word things in the way that he very deliberately does where, uh, you know, in... in probably the mathematically worst way possible regardless of what his intentions are and uh what did he say something along the lines of like oh all these like black zoomer content creators all they do is yell it's so f***ed up that where is it just give me the video literally just the most like most mathematically awful way you can say something basically opening yourself up to like even if you had a valid uh, take or anything like that which i don't even think he did but even if he had a valid take that sentiment is, I just, is just I, so awfully f written and and i think he knows it he, he just knows what he's saying and i i think this is going to get him a lot of attention which he's already doing i mean he's capturing a lot of attention here it's here sick it of like the progressive deep throating i'm good on that i'm done i usually don't even talk about stuff uh, that pops off with regards to destiny but like uh you know um if you're gonna compare me saying there's like a kind of like a trend at least on twitch Oh, no, this isn't even the one. Where's the original? Is, is, is this is the one? D's been claiming to be far left recently. Oh, is, is that why he dyed his hair blue? <laughs> to be like a blue-haired SJW? Is that what he's doing? That's funny. Streamer Destiny was under fire recently for making comments about a whole new legion of black Zoomer streamers saying all they do is yell and scream know, at the camera. Is this like, I don't even know who these streamers are. I'm not going to lie. Like, here, I'll give you the short and sweet of it, okay? One, he grouped up 
Kai and I show speed, right? Kai Sinat and I show speed. So normally, if you do that, you're opening yourself up to people being like, oh, you're racist. You think all black people are the same or whatever. Uh, it's such a trope that like people jokingly say it. Black people jokingly say it sometimes. You know what I mean? But like the follow through also built on that. Okay. Like you could have been like, oh, I f***ed up. I don't really know these people. You know what I mean? Who cares? Like, but then he followed through on it by like, here, let's watch. Is this the Kai Senate guy? Oh, this is the speed guy. Okay. There's like this whole new legion of like black Zoomer streamers. And for as much as they talk about how like all white people did was scream at the f camera. Um, I feel like that's all these guys do. I have, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they have more content, but holy shit, it's just not my shit. But I'm probably just getting old. I, like it's like the new, the new shit is like black dude tears his shirt off, screams something wacky and wild into the camera, is racist or homophobic, it's LOL. And like, that's like, okay, don't care. Or transphobic, don't forget that one. This one, I just, I get sick of like the progressive deep throat. So before we get to the second part of that, first of all, like he could have just literally been like, he could have literally just, <laughs> he, he could have been like, I don't know who this person is, but I've, uh, you know, but I see a lot of clips of them or something and just be like, uh, it's not for me. And that it is like, uh, it's definitely uh, inappropriate and unacceptable. That's what the kids like, f***ed up, whatever. Okay. Like, even if he mistook Kai and, and I show speed, like he could have fixed it by the tail end of it. But instead he decided to create this like fake black guy who's upset at white people yelling to just like justify his argument for some reason. I don't even know if there is a black content creator that's prominent that's like, oh man, all white content creators do is like yell. And it certainly isn't like Kai Sinat. Cause yeah, Kai is very loud. Just ask Kai Sinat. Like it's not, he's a very entertaining, high intensity guy. That's his thing. He has literally openly admitted that. Not only that, but he, as a matter of fact, criticizes people like even myself or the poggers community for not being high intensity enough if you recall there was a conversation that they had between like him and your rage where they literally were like yo these guys don't even celebrate when they get gifted subs what the f is that about don't have this like weird argument that originated because destiny f uh uh worded something in the most like awful way he possibly could and is now going to f boulder his way into snowballing this conversation into uh a, a, a small internet race war, basically, okay? Because that's where this is heading. That's it. And and it's not real. It's not a real race war or anything like that, obviously. But it's just like, it's just going to galvanize all the most ridiculous, uh, uh, sweatiest cringe lords on the internet, some of which who frequent Destiny's community 100%, okay? And they're all aching for this to turn into a larger opportunity because there's a bunch of black content creators who are uh, very successful now, and not all of uh, DGG hates that, obviously. Plenty of them love saying little bro and, and using the terminology and, and acting like they're also little Zoomers hitting the gritty or whatever. But there is a chunk of people in both that community and in also edge communities that 100% do not like that there are black content creators that are popping off and they want to use any and every opportunity to take him down a couple pegs. And even if Destiny himself does not uh, personally agree with that or doesn't even give a shit, I know he like uh, he he collabs with a lot of uh, black content creators that are a little bit more on the uh, conservative or centrist side, right? Um, there are plenty of people who are going to weaponize this, okay? Um, so that's my take. I think it's a pretty I think it's a pretty fair assessment of the situation. And I I, I saw like uh, responses from I think Kai said something like you know F you guys or whatever. Like, and everyone was like, oh, you're owned because you're yelling in the clip. And it's like, yeah, I don't think he ever said he doesn't yell. Like, what do you mean? But if you think that like Kai Sanad is just like simply yelling and that's his only content, then, you know, it's kind of weird because why are you criticizing something you've never seen? Like, why are you criticizing something you've never watched? This dude has made more collaborations happen within high profile artists than anyone else I've seen over the past couple of years. I've literally talked about it. First of all, what you're not going to do is not going to act like you don't know who is who, dickhead. You obviously know who the f I am and who the f speed is. You clearly said this. All right, like I don't know if they have more content. Let me tell you something, bro. Like, th this is the, the Twitter comments in a f Like, this is the, this is, this is, this is if, a, if Twitter comments was a person, this is what it is. Bro, 
I don't know if they have more content, but let me go ahead and hate on them for what I see. Hey, 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 you listen to me. I don't know who the f you are. I don't know what you do, but do your f research before you say shit. And clearly you are a racist, but guess what? I don't give a f That's you. That got something to do with you. I will be mad if black niggas is taking control right now. I will be mad if I was a racist and black niggas got motion right now, nigga. I will be furious, nigga. I will be furious. I will be so mad. Ooh, I will come on this shit and say whatever I gotta say. I will say what I is. I don't know you from a can of paint, but guess what? Guess what I know? You can eat my d Like, bro, it's like, bro, I don't know who niggas be thinking they are, but it's either you get with the program or you can stay out the f way. We don't even be doing nothing to y'all in our community. I've never seen a nigga from our community directly hate on y'all niggas, like, solely. Niggas scream, okay, niggas do this, okay, niggas talk a little too loud, okay. But this 17-year-old nigga, this 17-year-old right here is doing better than you in every category. Actually, how old is, how old is he? <laughs> First that part of it, I'm sure, uh, is like, I don't know what his take on speed is. I don't know if it's good or bad. That part does seem like he's defending him, ultimately. Just like Destiny doesn't have to be racist to criticize W community. Same principle applies in every circumstance. He called Speed a dumbass. Yeah, I mean, he is. The irony, of course, is that, like, I haven't seen it, but I'm willing to bet Destiny's original reaction to the Speed thing was probably that, like, oh, yeah, this guy is, like, a, a idiot. I wouldn't say it's racist, but it's, like, very clearly, very clearly, like, uh, you know, teetering on the edge or whatever. Like, there is no, there is no way that, like, D, after that take, be careful. Tomorrow, Rose is 16-year-old, no problem. Black men on the internet are insanely Agile want to play the race card and stream. That's racism. Every single time anything is ever brought up, the amount of fragility on display is actually amazing. Even if you say the word black, does it automatically mean racism to you? How fragile are you? Imagine you're in his shoes. Imagine someone says black, wouldn't you be shaking? Imagine you're listening to someone and even mention your skin color, would you be furious? Imagine you were listening to someone online, they reference a group of people who said black, wouldn't that make you livid? Dude, no one cares. At some point, people are going to have to grow the f find something else to bitch about than, than their race. Oh my, he's such a f gamer dude the wl community loves to play the race card and pretend they're victims of racism when they're 19 year old kids making millions every single chance they can wait what i don't understand this like i mean here dude like look at a bruce uh, cod lobby does anyone have a video of the dude that is like oh you're black and then starts screaming the like what do you mean you think like these guys don't experience racism you think 19 year old millionaires that are millionaires now were 19 years old uh, were 18 and also millionaires were they millionaires when they were 17 does a millionaire automatically not experience racism especially like anti-black racism which is super normalized like that's so dumb but so they can be racist too no i never said that shut the f up don't try to don't try to desperately shove words in my mouth okay i show speeds like racism or whatever right now at the age of like 17 18 would make him look woke in comparison to what this blue-haired mother doing back then okay that's it like, come on bro not even back then like a couple years ago come on like we know better we know better i mean he said the n word in that like <laughs> literally in that thing that we saw he's like writing that saying kai says the n-word a lot anyway and as far as like loud content creators goes this dude loves tyler one maybe all the top content creators regardless of their background regardless of what community they're from all kind of yell they're high energy and that even includes myself you know what i mean ridiculous he f yells all the time too i don't know what the f he's talking about with respect to like oh i hate this new kind of uh content creator that just yells all the time Come on. That was Kai's response. Uh, Destiny has more to say. I don't know if they have more content, but holy shit. shit. But I'm probably just getting old. I, like, it's like the new the new shit. It's like black dude tears his shirt up, screams something wacky and wild into the camera, is racist or homophobic. It's LOL. And like, that's like, okay, don't care. Or transphobic. Don't forget that one. If you're going to compare me saying there's like a kind of like a trend, at least on Twitch, of like the black like screaming content, or whatever for the Kai setting the ice pick which by the way there might not be maybe those are just the only clips I see on LSF but if you're gonna say that's the same as me going up to some Asian person and be like oh konnichiwa konnichiwa oh uh, konnichiwa you're actually retarded like go deep throat some BBC oh he's just mad he couldn't say it first that's what it was <laughs> oh at first I thought he was very upset at I show speed and I realized he just he's just mad he wasn't the one who got to say it my bad I, I misread the situation. <laughs> uh, I know there's people in here being like, he didn't say it like that. You. It's like, bro, I know I'm joking. Okay. It's a joke. It's called making a joke. Okay. He's like, those are my words, man. What the?
you can't say that. Bro said, I'm tired of the anti-racism at the start there. Yeah, I mean. See somewhere, swallow, go guzzle some black dudes come because that makes you feel really good about yourself as a progressive. Like, go knock yourself out, but leave me out. Yeah, progressive uh, progressives um, are cuck to black men who have BBCs. That's a normal, that's a good take. Come on, bro. Once again, Destiny, the king of optics, dude. The absolute king of optics, dude. Imagine going and like taking the time out to go campaign for for Raphael Warnock in Georgia and then coming back and this is the one this first line that comes out of your mouth is to just like attack some of the largest black content creators on the internet and then say progressives are guzzling BBC come when they're uh you know and they're being too accommodating to black people that is an insane like I don't get it I just don't get it why are liberals like this I do not know but that is insanity Okay, the difference between Destiny and I show speed, by the way, and before anyone says, oh my God, you're racist, that's the soft, that's the soft bigotry of low expectations. I show speed is 17 years old and a idiot. Destiny is a full grown man with a child who's been speaking politics on the internet for a very long goddamn time. He knows better and he can't even literally massage his rhetoric a little bit to just like make a point without coming across like he's being racist. It's insane, okay? And that is not an excuse for I show speed, by the way. We have talked about time and time again how in the wrong he is. I would give a dumbass he is. Come on, man. Don't you realize chat doesn't understand nuance? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like overqualifying every single thing I'm saying currently so that people understand exactly what I mean. It's going to be hard regardless because there's going to be a lot of people with nefarious agendas in here that are going to try to clip shit and ship it and make it seem like I'm on one side or make it seem like I'm on the other side. Out of your boot licking virtue signaling cuck ass bullshit go find some black putt panther to give it to you up the ass or some shit i don't need to be involved in that please keep me out of your weird obsessive white progressive virtue signal cuck shit okay i like to talk about real racial issues here not if we are stereotyping black screamo streamers on twitch okay jesus christ if you want to find destiny cross-legged go find a debate of him where he's talking to someone who is anti-black or he perceives as anti-black and this can be a liberal this can be a leftist this can be a communist or this can be a nazi and pick apart a moment where destiny has made a mountain out of a molehill in a significantly more like a edge case that's it and then cut it together and boom you you got it this man has argued on both sides of every argument. He is old school 4chan poll style uh, troll. That's it. He just likes chaos. He likes the blood sport. He likes the win debates. And that's pretty much it. Okay. But for that reason, if one was, uh, you know, destined, if one was interested in like showing him in, in, in the uh, contradictions, you know, you would, you would literally find that very easily, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to, you're not going to put a dent in his audience. The NFT shit never did. So many other controversies never did. This is the community that still is able to like r uh, rile up LSF and, and get mad at like uh, the G word, you know what I mean? Or the C word, as a matter of fact. So who's saying all this stuff is, is uh, you know, the guy who's saying all this stuff is just like, is, is doing it not for some like real growth or real emotional purpose. No, no real moral compass. He just wants to be right in that argument. Okay. Oh my God. I was right, dude. Immediately. Destiny attacks Hassan after accusations that DG hates black content creators. I literally said, I literally said that not everyone in DGG hates black content creators, but there are certainly a lot of people that stay behind from all the communities that Destiny engages with. But of course he clip chimped it and immediately made a clip because that's how it works. It's like, it's always the same shit, dude. It's the same strategy. This is why a lot of people don't want to engage with you, Destiny. Because you are dishonest, you don't care about looking at things in a charitable capacity, like, and then your your community immediately clips shit out of context and will literally f post it on LSF in the worst way possible. It makes you look bad too. It makes you look bad to all the other content creators, and and I mean, people are aware of it. You know what I mean? What the f like? That's crazy to me that like this is people. Destiny Alt in both that community and in also Edge communities that 100% do not like that there are black content creators that are popping off. Why does this degenerate f***ing loser say this shit? Like, why not go to more sex clubs where like little girls are being trafficked? Isn't that what you like? Oh, that's what he, oh, that's where he said that. That's crazy. Hey man, I don't know. I wouldn't talk shit like this if I left my wife and child behind to go f fan's girlfriend and then marry her. You know what I mean? Take care of your children. Stop behaving like this on the internet. Grow the f up, okay? You dishonest. Jesus Christ, dude. Like, literally, a brothel that I f 
went to in 2010 got raided for tax evasion in 2016. And this motherfucker is making it seem like there's like little children being trafficked there. How gross. You do not give a about sex trafficking if this is the kind of attitude you have. You play fast and loose with this shit. Jesus, Lord mercy. What to do in Europe? Somebody linked the article. By the way, when somebody links the article, oftentimes it's RTBA, Destiny will literally avoid it. That's the other thing. Like, we have a shared moderator. He can literally come in and be like, listen, don't post this. Don't say this. That's out of context. Destiny knows that and will still do it. Okay. He knows it. He doesn't care. He's just trying to get as many, as many people as possible on board in a yet another smear campaign because he has no substance. It's so sad. That was not defamation. It always is defamation. I know what the talking points are. Oh my God. How many videos you have to make about like um, the same thing over and over again you make this claim about my f community bro it, like i wonder if there's ever been a an instance on this planet where destiny has like honestly taken a step back and been like you know what i should have worded that better instead of immediately deflecting away from the main problem and immediately countering with a completely unrelated take sometimes it's valid in this circumstance it certainly isn't and and just move on have his community beef up the counterpoint in order to deflect away from the original criticism he could have just literally been like i didn't word that correctly i'm sorry okay that's all he needed to do in this situation all destiny a f old ass dude with a child all he needed to do was say you know what i worded it incorrectly i make content with a lot of black content creators abba and preach Gideon, to to name a few you know what i mean obviously i'm not racist i f***ed up he could have just said that and it would have been done. That's it. Like if he had just said that, it would have been done. He didn't have to f triple down, quadruple down, but he has a f God complex and he can't stop himself. And also his audience is pretty vicious when you actually apologize. Let's be real. I have apologized for things a million times over and those never let me live it down. So I don't know. Maybe they'll do that to him too, but it's so f stupid. Maybe do not say I have black friends though. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. He should say either. It's, it's, he could have just done that that's all he could have said that's all he could have said like oh i i worded it incorrectly but oh no he's infallible he can't make any f mistakes it's just so f gross like he did it he literally did it i'm not even talking about like oh everyone in dg hates black people or anything like that i literally said there are edge communities that become a part of his overall community every single time he collaborates with nazis like eats chicken and waffles with them and shit like nick fuentes like he did or when he bans people in his own community from literally saying uh, that Nick Fuentes is a Nazi, which he did do, okay? When he does stuff like that, yes, a lot of people think, oh, this is a safe harbor for Nazis, I guess. And then those are people who legitimately don't like black people. And some of them are in his communities, okay? That's who I'm referencing. And anyone and everyone who's in DGG, anyone in Destiny's community, regardless of how much you talk shit here knows that i'm right they know that i'm right they or if they're honest about it will criticize it i didn't even say dgg itself is like this i literally said the exact opposite but of course it did, it doesn't matter instead of addressing that instead of addressing what i actually said and go hold on yeah maybe hassan is a little right here because i am a charitable person hold on hassan is right uh, i'm gonna be charitable here and say yeah there are some people in edge communities that i want to change their attitudes on i want to change them i want to de-radicalize those nazis and some of them think uh inappropriately that this is a safe ground for them okay you could have said something along those lines and like uh in the interest of not galvanizing their horrifyingly white supremacist ideas i'm gonna make it clear like, i am not a racist person something like that but he didn't say that instead he turned around and said I, I sex traffic children or something. He's a psycho. There is no, there is no instance where he just goes, I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to make sure that people understand with clarity. Okay. What I mean, he just has to be, a, he has to perceive himself as like this infallible figure who's never in the wrong and he doesn't give a shit. He likes blowing stuff up and he likes continuing the, the drama cycle. And by the way, for those of you who don't know, this is precisely why I don't talk about Destiny because anytime I do, it becomes like a thing. It becomes this like explosive thing and it's one-sided, okay? It's completely one-sided. His community members will never let it go and it validates him. And for the next month, I'm going to hear about it over and over again. It's called vulnerable narcissism. Yeah, a lot of community are new and don't know D's uh, history. Yeah, I know. It's been rewritten a million times over.
But hey, you know, we'll give him the content. Do again. not like that there are black content creators that are popping off. Content creators have been in my stream. How many people do you think are in my community that don't want to see black people succeed? It's such a- No, I, I, I agree. There aren't that many people. They're edge communities. That's what I said. I'm not saying his entire community is like that. Destiny, bro, stop. What the Stupid f thing. Like, what the f are you talking about? <clears throat> He's so, he's so fragile. He did what? What do you mean? Go, wh where was the, what was the uh, sex club that he bragged about uh, going into? I'm pretty sure he had pictures of it in Europe. The traffic. That's, again, not real, okay? And even if it was, which by the way, I'm not defending this brothel that is still in operation. How the f is that my fault? I went there in 2010. Not like I was like, ooh, what, what brothel has been raided? Let me go there. Like it's so stupid it's such a weird thing to do you get so emotional over race issues also so quick to use the n-word yeah you're so charitable to a community full of loser liberals who do not give a f actual issues all they do is jerk off each other over useless three-hour debates i'm i'm trying to be as charitable as possible because i know that there are some people who are at the f edge who aren't just as like ride or die no matter how uh, deep in the in the cut you are you, there's ultimately still going to be people who are like yeah this doesn't seem right obviously they're never going to see my clips uh or the full context and most of them aren't going to search for the full context of what I've said, but, you know. <sighs>